Hey guys, Derek from Automatic Discount. Let me show you how the basic rules work. At first, uh, when we launched the app in 2016, we didn't have any differentiation between basic and advanced rules. But as we went down the road, many requests, ideas, complaints, and we felt the need to separate to be able to offer a simple solution and a more advanced, flexible solution for discount rules. Let's go dig into the basic rules. So basically you have to make sure you use the basic rule here. You have some baby steps to follow. Create a discount code. Put the discount code here. Well, mine is really called discount rule. So if I go inside the discount, this coupon exists. You select the rule from the drop down and you put the value. And to go a bit further, you can add some specifications, some restrictions that will. The restrictions are what decides if the discount rule needs to be triggered, needs to be fired to apply the discount automatically. So if I make a simple rule that is well, if the cart amount is over 30, then apply the discount rule discount. And the discount rule discount is a $5 off of a minimum purchase of 30 bucks. Or I could say, well, if you have four items or three items, I'll let it 30. And then I'll show you a more advanced uh, uh, example. So if I go in my store, well, here I created products based on the features, you know. Well, <laughs> it's certainly not the case of your store, but I could have four units. And because I am over 30 bucks, then I get five off. And if I go to checkout, the discount is there. I could add some restrictions based on the product type, the vendor and the variant title. I will show you an example. When you put restrictions here, it's really important to put exactly the right product type that appears inside your products. For example, if I go to filter by product type, I'm not sure I have any here. Okay, so these are product types that I have inside my products. So it's not like random value that I decide to type inside the rule. It's something that is really indicated as a product type here. So for example, your product type could be t-shirts or, you know, albums. So here my prototype, and this is case sensitive, is rule. So I will click enter and I save. If you have some product with variants, well, I don't have any variants here, but I could add some. It's really important to know that the variant title contains one of, you really need to put exactly the value of the variant. So if my options are the size and my variant is medium, well, there I would need to use medium here. Okay. Do not put something else, do not put size or whatever. It, it's the same for if you add color. If you have white here and you want to trigger based on white, then you put it white there. The reason why this variant restriction is useful is if you want to apply a discount automatically if the cart has, for example, more than 30 bucks, but if the cart has a product that has the white variant in it. And I could also say, 
well do not trigger the discount if other products are inside the cart so if i have other products other than this one that has a color white and it's the only product with this white variant in my entire store then i don't want to trigger the product or to trigger the application of the discount or i want it um, so i will let it by default it, it will trigger it it will trigger the application of the discount if my card is over 30 bucks and i have at least one product that has the wide variant so this is useful if i have created a discount let's say that my discount is um, specific to some products and it's specific to a variant for example well right now i didn't save but if i go back here and i save and i search for if i have more for example color let's add a variant Uh, let's say it's still medium, but it's red. Well, anyway, you understand the, the logic uh, behind. I could just make the discount on the white medium, for example. And inside the app, I could only fire or trigger the discount if this white medium is there inside the cart same logic for the vendor it's it's exactly the same so if i go back to my product here no yeah there my product I have tabarnap as a vendor so i could use this to only trigger the discount when the cart is over 30 and when the vendor of at least one product is tabarnak or only if the vendor is tabarnak for all the products inside the cart otherwise it won't trigger so i think that makes uh well a great overview of the discount basic rules you have some example here you can create based on the weight of the products for example for digital or physical products that's useful the number of same item would be i need exactly uh three product of the same product of the same item the number of diff different items would be i need for example three different products inside the cart and you can add more rules but if you add more rules make sure that you put the biggest discount the biggest rule at top so if for example you have amount 30 here then you put another coupon here and it needs to be created and valid and you put a smaller one there so the way the app works or script will check from top to bottom of the list and if this rule is not met then it goes to the second rule if this rule is not met then there's no discount applied if i create another one let's say i have five bucks in my cart so how it works the app will check in the background does the cart reach 30 bucks no okay does the cart is the cart at 15 bucks or more no is the card at five bucks or more yes then apply this coupon automatically to check out so if you have any questions guys uh well feel free uh you can go inside the app and post uh help here or go to the faq and you can fill the form to submit and we will reply to you as soon as possible thanks for your time